sitting in that chair with that background so new scenery you feel me so i wanted to do a story time today and i wanted to talk about um one of my ex best friends a horrible horrible story and it's so sad because i still love her till this day this is a story about um my ex best friend that i love dearly and she went behind my back and she backstabbed me so cold and did me so wrong people are just straight up evil like People are really evil and I don't know what's wrong with people. I pray for people that betray people and become disloyal to people and do bad towards people that really, literally, literally want nothing but the best for you. She done all these things to me and I still really do love her because we just had so much memories and so much fun times. And it's honestly, it's like... I hope you guys like my story and... Yeah. Okay, so we gonna call this girl, what should we name her? We gonna name this girl Buttercup. So before I was best friends with this girl, this girl did not like me. Buttercup hated me. I don't know what it was, but Buttercup was definitely the girl that um, ran shit. People were intimidated by her. She didn't give a fuck about people. She always wore cute stuff. She's definitely a fashionista. Buttercup planned someone to beat my ass in middle school. So you know how they say you either best friends or worst enemies? I feel like this is definitely the case of best friends or worst enemies. In middle school, we weren't worst enemies, but um, she definitely did not fuck with me. She thought, she was just like, who is this Asian bitch? And I was just like, I was a quiet girl in school, and so I was just like... <laughs> what do you want me to do? I think it was after this girl's sleepover that we had in middle school that made us turn into basically literally best friends. Like, when I tell you she was my bitch, Buttercup was my motherfucking bitch. I loved her to death. I shared everything with her. We shared um, all the secrets, talked about all the boys finessed a lot of shit back then did a lot of savage shit together i invited this girl to my home i allowed her to come over when i wasn't even here i allowed her to sleep over even when i wasn't here she knew my family very well my parents loved her she became like family to us we was best friends all through high school as well eventually i'd say Maybe like three years after high school is when our I had to cut off our friendship. After high school, I really glowed the fuck up and learned who the fuck I really was. And I really bossed the fuck up on hella people. Got a brand new car, started making hella money, started receiving hella blessings, um, became closer to God, finally became good with my family. Like, life to me was just getting better and better. And I was honestly like opening hell opportunities for myself just getting up there and i feel like as a best friend buttercup she never really supported me as i wanted her to like everything that i did she just wasn't that type of friend that would be like yes girl like i'm so proud of you like she never acknowledged or like me looking back at her now like she never acknowledged majority of my wins that i had but she was just always that there that was always down for me. Like, whatever I, whatever I needed, she would be down for me. If I ever needed someone to have my back, she would be that bitch. If I ever needed to come over and get away because I have house problems, she would be that bitch. Especially on holidays, when my family want to celebrate certain things, she always welcomed me to her family with open arms. When it came to me um, accomplishing goals doing good for myself she's she never been that girl that clapped for me and that i feel like i should have peeped that in the beginning because what kind of friend don't want to see the other friend doing good i feel like low-key like she was the type of friend that because i after
after high school, I really became like fearless and more willing to do things out of the ordinary and really be open-minded and try a lot of new shit. It was more of like, no, I'm not doing it unless I know it's going to be good. Like she was more, is not going to risk failing, is not going to risk being uncomfortable. She definitely was someone that uh, was used to being comfortable and not stepping out of her comfort zone. So I feel like when I did and she recognized that I was winning and doing good for myself, I just don't think that she felt okay with me leveling up without her. Definitely that type of friend, like, if she knew she could benefit from me, then she'll stay. But if she knew it could not benefit from her, she would just be like, lol, okay, like, ooh, she did this, okay, good for you, like, awesome hate and that shit, like, buttercup. I would never do that for you, like, I would never be on no hate and that shit, like, everything that you do, I would love, like, and I kind of feel like, I don't know if she thought it was, like, a competition or if she felt like, bitch, who do you feel like, because when you generally love someone, that's, nothing is ever a competition, like, you should never feel like that with your friends. You should never feel like you're competing with your friends, period. She seen that I was getting money. She just began asking me for money. And if you're my bitch and you really need help, I got you. Like, it don't fucking matter. Money will never get in our relationship. But with Buttercup, it did. And that would... And that's really what bothered me the most. I feel like after she seen that I was getting money and being a stripper, she felt like it was okay to ask me for money all the time. As if I don't work just as hard as her working for her money. She had a good job and she was working full time. She was really working a lot. And then she would watch me dance and I guess it would be easier. I'd make easier money that way and faster and I didn't have to work as hard as she did so i kind of felt like she was just like bitch that's not fair like, and i kind of feel like she think like i don't work as hard as the money as she do so she will come to me and ask for the money knowing damn well she probably got the money too and it came to the part where she was asking for money i'd let her borrow money she said she got me and she'll return the money but she'll keep pushing a date and pushing a date so i'm just like why you keep pushing a date but you just went out to eat how you how you over here doing all these extra activities, but claiming you don't got my motherfucking money. After I peep the small shit like that, I'm just like, bitch, I thought she was my bitch. Like, how are you gonna do some shady ass shit like that? Out of all people that I would expect to really fuck with me, and this was my fucking best friend ever, like, and I love her so much, and she gonna start some funny shit with me. And it gets even better, okay? It gets even better, so after the money thing, I realized we can't be friends because the way that you're moving, like, I really can't fuck with that. Like, the way that you're moving with me, Buttercup, like, that's really some shady ass shit. And the fact that I've just been prospering, prospering and leveling up mentally and physically, I don't deal with that type of bullshit. Like, I don't deal with anybody's bullshit, period. I had to cut the friendship off and I really just let her do her and me do me. It's funny because I hit her back up, um, I think like six months after just to see how she was. And basically I wanted, cause I like, I love that girl to death and I wanted to give her like, you know, like let's see if shit's gonna work out now. But she was just all the same old bullshit. Like you did not just have the audacity to ask me to borrow money and pay me back. But she said, but I don't have the money to pay you back, so can I borrow that extra money so I'm able to pay you back? Like, bitch, what kind of shit is that? Like, what the fuck? But let me tell you the even juicier part. After I cut old girl off, I was dating this guy. Someone texted me and was just talking about how my man is cheating on me, how my man is doing this, how my man is doing that, um, how my man gotten, got his best friend, which is a girl pregnant, don't trust that bitch, blah, blah, just throwing the hell of shade. And at first, I was just like, what? Like, if someone's gonna press me about my man, then I don't press them back. I go to my man 
and ask what's up because communication is key and anybody got time for that extra bullshit like if there's ever another female involved and i'll never address the female i'm addressing my motherfucking man because you my motherfucking man any other female ain't got nothing to do with me so i was just like yeah bet and i called him and he was just like what are you talking about blah 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 and i was just like okay so who is this girl? So I was basically like, okay, so that's clearly not true. But someone clearly mad and tried to fuck with my brain. So I was just like, hee hee ha ha. I just thought the shit was hella funny. And with everything that she was saying, I was just honestly laughing. Like, it did not face me at all. Whatever she was trying to do, get me mad. It just wasn't working. I got so mad, like an off switch went off. And the person that was texting me said bitch i'll shoot your mom in the motherfucking face bitch and she described my house like where the outside was of my house so i knew that the person texting me knew where i lived and the information that she was texting me about my boyfriend at the time um was very detailed like she knew some personal information and the only person that i know that knows all that information because I'm very private about the information I tell. I don't be telling my business like that. And the only person, Buttercup, like... At first, I thought it was someone else because um, my boyfriend's ex be having some wild ass exes. So I, I thought, I personally thought it was one of their exes, like, oh, this hating ass bitch. But I put the puzzle pieces together and it made me realize like buttercup like you really doing this to me joking or not don't joke about shooting my mom in the face like who would who like what i didn't tell anyone else these types of detailed information but you buttercup i know why she would target because i've been friends with her since middle school i know the type of character she is and i know she would do some petty shit like texting other people trying to get in their brain no offense, Buttercup, but girl, you'd be bored sometimes. And we both be bored together, so I know how you are, Buttercup. It also makes sense because at the time we were friends, she had a boyfriend as well. But he, honestly, I didn't really like him that much. I'm very high on standards. And I always told her, like, no, I don't like this guy or I don't like him. No, I don't want to give him a chance because I don't like this about him like I'm very picky on the type of guy that I want to be with I remember her telling me exactly like you're gonna be single for the rest of your life because you your standards are just too high and you're never gonna find the perfect guy that low-key got to me because what do you mean I'm not gonna find the man that I want like I, I'm not gonna find a man that's gonna respect me I'm not gonna find a man that knows my motherfucking worth I'm not gonna find a man that can treat me like how I want to be treated that really stuck to me like wow i can't believe she just said that like she's always been hella blunt but it's like damn bitch i got feelings too ho how she settled for her boyfriend she and like buttercup you could do way better because bitch you're a boss ass bitch too and it's crazy because i'll still talk hella good on her throughout all the things that she done to me but um she was with this guy and it just wasn't what i feel like she deserved i feel like she deserved way better than that but after i stopped being friends with her i started dating this guy and she knew about the guy too because i would always talk to him before we actually officially dated so she knew all the tea about this dude which is what she used against me while trying to fake text me on a motherfucking texting app number like girl i know you i knew why she would attack me about my boyfriend because she knew i was happy and she knew i found someone that actually at the time treated me good like the guy that I was dating honestly I was honestly so fucking happy at the time he really treated me how I should be treated he treated me like a motherfucking queen he had a lot of respect for me something that I just wasn't used to you know and so when I when God finally gave me that blessing I was just honestly really happy I don't date him no more and growing and bad too that's another story that i need to tell y'all about my relationship tea but um that's just how the shit ended i just can't believe like i introduced this girl to my home i put this girl 